Similar triangles, question 2. A loading ramp is built so that it rises 20 cm vertically for each meter horizontally. What is the vertical height of the ramp with horizontal distance of 4 meters? All right. So we'll again use the properties of similar triangles to solve this question. Right. So let's say that this is our ramp, right? So let me draw a long ramp, right? So, so that's our ramp. Now in this ramp, we are saying that loading ramp is built so that it rises 20 centimeter vertically. So vertically it rises 20 centimeters. This is 20 centimeters for each meter, right? For each meter, let me write this as 100 because I wrote this in centimeters, right? Let's centimeters. So 1 meter is 100 centimeters. Let me write this as 100 centimeters. So, so that becomes a small triangle. So let me say this triangle is A, B, and C, right? Now it says, what is the vertical height of the ramp with horizontal distance of 4 meters, right? Let us say this distance from here to here is 4 meters, okay? 4 meters means 400 centimeters, let's say. So 1, 2, 3, maybe approximately, doesn't matter. Let's write 400 centimeters, right? So let's say if this is 400 centimeters, then what is the vertical height? Then what is this vertical height of the ramp? So that is the question, right? So a sketch like this helps to understand the problem, right? Now we'll use the concept of similar triangles. Let's say this point be RP, right? The height of the ramp, right? So the triangle, we know here, the triangle ABC is similar to triangle APR. Now let me tell you one more thing here. Whenever we write these similar triangle things, we have to ensure one thing, that the order is correctly written. When we say triangle ABC is similar to triangle APR, we are trying to also say that angle A is equal to angle A, right? This angle is common. Do you see that? This angle is common, right? And second, what we are trying to say is angle B is equal to angle P, these two angles, right? Are they same? Angle B in this triangle is 90 degrees. Do you see that? 90 degrees. So they are also same. So at least two angles are same, third has to be same, right? Why? Because sum of angles is 180 degrees and then C is same as R, correct? C is same as R, correct? That means this angle is same as this angle, correct? So that is how you have to ensure that whenever you write equation for similar triangles, when you say triangle ABC is similar to triangle APR, the order has to be corresponding angles. Do you understand? Now, when they are similar, then their corresponding sides are in the same ratio. Do you understand? Corresponding is the key word, right? So the key word here is corresponding, right? Angles and sides, correct? This is what crit is very critical when you are solving similar triangles. Don't change the order. Otherwise, you'll get a wrong answer, right? So next, since the two triangles are similar, their side ratios are constant, right? They're same. So we have, since we want to find height, we'll write RP over, in this triangle, corresponding height is CB. So we'll write CB is equals to what we know, AP over AB, right? A, B. So, so there are two ways of writing this. I'm using both ways in my different examples. So one, I'm writing corresponding sides in this case. We're saying RP over corresponding side of the small triangle divided by is equals to AP and the corresponding side AB, right? We could have also written like this. RP over AP is equals to CB over AB. That is also true and will give you the same answer and both are correct statements, okay? Now let's plug in the values which we know. RP is the variable height h, right, which we need to find. 
H over C B. C B is 20. So we are finding height in centimeters. Remember that we converted all our units in centimeters, right? Now A B is 400 centimeters, right? 400 here and A B is 100, right? So from here we can calculate H equals to 400 over 100 times 20. It's better to do all the calculations at the end, uh, you know. So, so we get, we can use the calculator. So we'll get 400 will give us 4 times 20 is equals to 80, right? So we get 80 centimeter, correct? So that is our answer. So we can also write this answer as in meters, 0 0.8 meters if you want, right? Otherwise we'll write the height will be 80 centimeters. So what is the vertical height of the ramp with horizontal distance of 4 meters? So we'll write answer as height equals to 80 centimeters. Okay? So that is our answer. Thank you.